What's going on, everybody? Before we get into this video, I'm gonna show you what I'm eating. I got a uh, Gala apple, I believe it's Gala organic. Um, I cut it with the apple cutter, and I added some manuka honey. I serving the manuka honey up there. Got my water with my two scoops of creatine. We on our way to the gym. In this video, I want to talk about not just winging it, man. Don't go into the gym and just wing it. Have a game plan. If you hit in chest, say, all right, I'm going to do whatever, flat bench or incline. You know what I'm saying? Have a game plan. Know, know what you're going to do when you target this muscle. And always have a backup. Say you can't get to the machine you want to get to. Or if you can't get to the bench, do push-ups instead. You know what I'm saying? When you're going to the gym, <coughs> excuse me, without a plan, and you keep doing this consistently, over time, you're not going to see any results. Or, your body parts are going to be uneven. See, the whole thing about having a good split and coming up with a good split, and how some people say hitting body parts twice a week, is so you don't have imbalances. So your shoulders don't look bigger than your arms. So your, your quads don't look bigger than your hamstrings. You know what I'm saying? You want you want things to flow evenly and nicely. Now again, I know a lot of people aren't going to compete. They aren't going to jump on stage. But you should still want to look good. You should still want your body to flow nicely. You know what I'm saying? Your main goal if not to jump on stage to be to look good naked. Now I know a lot of people are in this for health. They want to be healthy, they want to be active. That's fine, but still, your goal should always be to look good naked. The reason why I say this is because you don't want your partner to be disgusted. You don't want to get undressed in the bedroom and your partner is turned off. You want them to be turned on. Especially if you're a man. Especially if you're a man watching this. You want a woman to be aroused. You want her to get wet and horny without you even laying a hand on her. And you could do that by your physique, man. By having an incredible physique that flows. You know what I'm saying? My goal is to look like as close as I can to this dude on the shirt, Superman. I want to look like him. Feel me? Or as close as I can to it. Superman, I would say, had a physique similar to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger would be the perfect example. He should have played. I don't know if he ever played Superman, but he should have played Superman. His physique, when he was in his prime, was amazing. Comparable to Superman, in my opinion. But yeah, there's been times I've gone to the gym when I was um when I was a, still a noob, a noob, a newbie, and um, I would just wing it, you know. Also, you're going to have to change up your routine at some point in time. What I do a lot is I, I kind of have the bodybuilder style of working where if I'm hitting chest, I'm directly hitting chest for that day. If I'm hitting back, I'm just hitting back for that day. Or sometimes I'll do chest with a little bit of side delt raises. I'll do a little bit of side, you know what I'm saying? Side delt raises or triceps after chest or back with body, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I kind of want to do more full body training and incorporate in legs with upper body. The reason why I say that is because it's been rumored to believe, and I'm pretty sure there are statistics that back this, but I'm going to just say rumor because I don't know for sure. It's been rumored to believe that when you hit your legs, hard and efficiently, your upper body will grow. I've heard, I've even heard bodybuilders say, uh, my back is lacking or my chest is lacking. So I'm going to hit legs. I'm going to hit legs after hitting back. So, or after hitting chest, so that it'll grow. So it'll grow more. So I really want to try that. I really want to try incorporating, like say if I'm hitting chest, maybe throwing a couple of leg extensions or you know what I'm saying? If I hit back, maybe hit, hit in a couple, uh, uh, hit up a couple uh, squats or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm always having a game plan. Like even right now, today is my back day. I'm, I'm already in my mind how I'm going to do. I'm going to start off with pull-ups. 
I'm gonna start out with four to five sets of 10 pull-ups. And after that, I'm gonna go to the to the Smith machine because I'm going to Planet Fitness today, not LA Fitness. I'm gonna hit the Smith machine and I'm gonna hit some um I'm gonna hit some rows. And then after that, I'm gonna I'm gonna target my lats. And that could be just a sit down pull, pulling towards the lats, or it could be a lat pull down, I'm not sure. But I already have in my mind what I'm going to do. I'm gonna straight and get to it. And as far as stretching, like this is all when it comes to not just winging it. I don't stretch. I do not stretch before my workouts. I warm up. And how I warm up is with a light weight, or if I'm using a Smith machine or bar, I'll, I warm up with the bar with no weight on it. That's how I warm up, get my body warm. If you wanna uh, do a little bit of cardio, like if you wanna walk on a treadmill for like 10, 15 minutes, that's fine as well to get your body warmed up. But as far as like stretching, like actually going to that like metal thing and like stretching my back and st no, not doing all that because if you stretch too much before the workout, you can make your muscles too loose. You're not gonna get a good pump. And you can also you can also risk of injury by stretching too much. You wanna if you really wanna stretch, you feel like you gotta stretch, do it after. Do it after your workout. It's more efficient that way. But yeah, man. Don't just wing it, man. I see so many people that walk into the gym that just be winging it. You can tell they don't know what they're doing. They look like a deer in headlights. You ever see those people going to the gym and they just, they just looking around? Like, it's empty. Machines are available, but they don't know what they want to do. They don't know where they want to start because they walked in with no game plan. People be on their phones too long because they don't have a game plan sitting on their phones trying to look up workouts. Trying to go on Instagram or YouTube to try to get inspiration. Man, you should do that before you got to the gym. You got to treat gym how you treat work. I got spit. Treat, treat gym. You want to treat the gym how you treat work. <clears throat> when you walk into that door, you ready to work, man. Whatever problems, whatever issues you had outside of your job before you got there, that don't matter. You're there for one task. You're there to work. And that's how you got to treat the gym. When you walk in the gym, you're not there to be sad, depressed, be staring at females. You're there to execute that game plan that you had before you even got there. That's what you're supposed to do in the gym. So I don't want this video to be too long. I just want to put that on your ear. You know, I had this on my heart, so I want to get it off. <clears throat> and, um... Hit the like button if you appreciate the video, man, because I, I need to actually step it up. I need to start posting more on this channel. I have two channels, and I kind of got preoccupied with my other channel because, you know what I'm saying, it's actually growing. I actually hit 3,000 subs, and I monetize on my other channel. So I got to get this channel going and up there. So if you if you, uh, if you you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Share it with somebody who needs to hear it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and make sure you hit set notifications to all, to that bell when you subscribe. All. So you'll know every time I post a short video, something on the community tab, whatever, all right? I appreciate you all. Peace and love.